going to show you how to assign a controller in ProSkater 3. So first you have to go to your ProSkater 3 directory and right click on ProSkater 3 setup and run as administrator. Go on your controller. Alienware, which is the controller I have right now. Now we're going to do a new one because uh, I already have that one assigned. As you can see my analog sticks work and everything. So we're gonna hit new. We're gonna rename this to. Uh, we're gonna, we're, we'll rename it later. So this is the hardest part: the analog. Uh, well, both the analog sticks. So first, you have to do it very precisely. Do it to the bottom left corner and hit L3. I forgot to turn on the analog uh, thing. Then to the upper right, if I can get it. So it says it has been detected. Hit finish. Up, left, or up, left, left, right, and down. It works. Nice. So now we're going to be doing the second analog stick. So you have to do this again R3. Move it to the bottom left corner, hit R3, up right, and hit R3 again. If I can actually do this, please. Okay. That's probably the first thing. That's what everyone complained about, or what I heard was that it's not working, uh, which I don't know. I can't really help you on the controller issues. It's Pro Skater 3, especially the setup for this is real weird. But uh, it's all precise. So, bottom left, up right. Now it's been detected. So let's check it out. Up, up left, left, right, right down, diagonal, perfect. It works. So then we just have to assign these other controllers, or the other buttons, start, select, Grind, grab, ollie, kick, now we're going to get to the most important part. Now most people are like, what about this? What about these buttons, you know? Can I make them work? Well, no, not really. Um, basically, if you have a controller, because I'm using a PS4 controller, I mean, not a PS4 controller, PS2 controller. It has the analog button where you can just turn that off, and then you can use the the D-pad. See, right now I turned it off, and you, you can't. I can't use my analog stick. If I turn it on, oh, whatever. Turn it on. It could work. You know. Before, oh, see now I'm using my D-pad. So, but before I was using my analog stick. So yeah, turning off the analog stick on your controller makes your D-pad work, and turning on <laughs> turning on the analog makes your analog stick work. Now you're saying, does this work in the game? So we're going to rename this to Controller Boy, and we're just going to hit OK, and we're going to boot up Pro Skater 3. The intro is going to boot up as well, but... No worries, it's got no audio, so let's check it out. It's going to be pretty long, so black screen. Alright. Yeah, I know, there's keyboard clackling. So, you're going to go to your options, your controller configuration, and then you're going to go where your your controller is. So, Alienware, dual compatible, whatever. You're going to go to your profile, controller boys. Okay, done. Let's do career, I guess. And I'm going to turn on with the analog stick. So, we're going to hit. And it works. 
you know, I can actually play this game. But then if I want to turn off the analog stick, I can. So it's uh, quite fascinating how that works. I don't really use controller because I suck at it, as you can just tell right there. I'm awful. I'll get this K, but yeah, it should work. I don't know what I'm doing. It should work. If it really doesn't, uh, you can just ask me on Discord. See the reason why it doesn't work. Uh, so yeah, that's enough fooling around. I suck at this game now. And that's using with the Pro Skater 3 setup tool. That's not using, as you can see, there's like DS4 there. I'm not using DS4 because I haven't even used it yet. That's for another video. If people really care about this, then I'll probably make a DS4 setup video. Uh, this is just using the basic tools that they give you in the directory files. Uh, I know a lot of people are just talking about the Xbox, my Xbox controller is not working. I don't know. I would need to get an Xbox controller and see if it works here. Uh, but right now, PS2, maybe PS3 controllers work, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll probably do another video where I'll probably test out a PS4 controller. Or if people really want a DS4 video, I'll end up doing that. But you know, who knows, so, yeah, that's it, bye.